when we have the understanding we have this clarity as it is then we have the clarity of wisdom which is being able to see the human goal what to do what not to do as a human being and we gave two formulations of the human goal one you are very familiar with that we have been talking about in uhv from the introductory workshop onwards which is about the goal as an individual of right understanding right feeling and right thought in every individual which results in happiness and the goal in every family that with this understanding within the family within each every individual they work together for the prosperity in the family and with that when there is understanding and prosperity then there is trust in the society there is a fearlessness because there is understanding there is prosperity so nobody needs to take from another nobody needs to exploit so there is trust and when you work with nature or you you, you know since you are a part of nature your interaction with nature you think of mutual enrichment rather than just your own prosperity so this was one formulation that we talked about that you are all familiar with i won't go into the details again another formulation possible formulation as a society was something that we perhaps are familiar with from our tradition and that is to do with what we spoke of as right understanding of the natural laws you can consider basically in hindi the words um, the meaning is perhaps more clear but in english um, when we put across the meaning perhaps clarity may not be there because we all have certain um perspectives about certain words but essentially you may have heard these terms um dharm arth kaam moksha so dharm is rightly understanding the natural laws natural laws means existential laws the way the existence is like you can say the pattern the design of existence is one of relationship of harmony of coexistence so understanding these natural laws you may put it in different ways but the reality is the same the expression can be different so this is just one more formulation but of course at the base there is only one reality that is the same so being able to see that and rightly understand that uh, even if we don't understand it fully meaning if we are not able to see it directly but at least having the thought of it so going by the natural laws knowing what to do you know as an individual that would be dharma then when we talk of earth we have put the term wealth in the slide um maybe you can go back to the slide so that everybody can relate to that um where we are talking about these four can you go back to okay we can leave it here also it's okay okay you can leave it to that so 
living with these you know an understanding or a basic idea of the natural laws that can be a term used to express dharma earth you can say wealth or a better term perhaps would be prosperity gita ji also had that question and yes we tend to think of wealth as a little bit different like accumulating money but uh, perhaps a better term would be prosperity calm is about your desires fulfilling your desires and moksha is you can call it liberation you can call it mukti you can there are many names in indian tradition so when we can see what the laws are like when we have clarity then with that you know on the basis of that dharm we go about to try for prosperity because you can see that you know some amount of physical facility is required because the body is there you do need it but the clarity that how much is required that comes with even looking at the laws being able to see how things are in this existence and when we have some clarity about that then we set our desires also in that tone and we fulfill those desires so if i can see the relationship between the different units then i have the desire to live in relationship with all the units so i will participate with that desire once i have that desire to fulfill the relationship then the rest of it is just um you know in the in the imagination i think about how to go about um fulfilling the relationship so if i have clarity that um there is relationship of every unit then i will try to um, my desire will become to live with relationship and with that desire then i might be going about thinking of now how am i going to actually work it out outside so i'll be thinking about maybe you know i can go meet the person i will fold my hands and say namaste maybe if it's an older person i will touch the feet how i will talk to them what i will you know um everything about but starting with an acceptance of the relationship so when i have that right feeling feeling of relationship then the thoughts automatically flow in that direction so my desires are in line with this and with all of this i am also working for understanding things better so that i can be in continuous happiness and that is what is being referred to as liberation or moksha so um, with this yesterday we had um, given a short assignment and perhaps we can take some reflections quick one or two reflections then we'll go forward to the next lecture so one question we had asked was what do you see as your goal at the collective level and is it taking care of all the dimensions of our living the other question was that we can make a comparative study of these two formulations that we had of the human goal and what do you think are the differences only at the level of expression 
or there is a difference at the level of the essence. So, um, if anybody has any question regarding this or reflections on this. Namaste, ma'am. Namaste to all. Uh, mm. uh, ma'am, uh, regarding that uh, human goal, in the, I can able to see the relationship in the family, uh, mm -hmm. in the society also. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, collective, uh, that is second point, uh, what uh, it is mentioned. I, I can see that essence, uh, like whenever I have a relationship with the all and working uh, with uh, favor of society, uh, like I surrender myself, like uh, uh, my tanmantan, like uh, in that way, I feel uh, very, very happy, ma'am, uh, because uh, with my knowledge, with my effort, I do something to that uh, society or others so that they feel comfortable. That essence I have sometimes whenever I did that kind of work. Uh, but still, I have to improve my right understanding to do the more and more. Uh, that way, um, my feeling is going on now. Certainly, that's uh, very nice to see. Of course, we all have to work for the completeness of right mm -hmm. understanding. But if we can see that, you know, when we have this feeling of relationship, when we are looking for, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in our interactions, when we are working towards not just my own fulfillment, but the fulfillment of the other, that further gives mm -hmm. me fulfillment in a way. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. only does it give me fulfillment, but when I express it to the other, the other is also getting fulfilled. So in that process, you can see that what is good for the other is also good for me, <laughs> which is yeah. probably what you are expressing. But certainly mm -hmm. we all have to work and we all have to make that effort. Mm -hmm. And if this is how we feel at some moments, imagine mm -hmm. how it would be if we would always be with those feelings. Yeah. 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 Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste, Yeah, I observe this thing and there are many things that I see which are missing even at the personal level. Mm -hmm. So I think first we all should, I mean, I should work, I don't know about others, but first I must see my role and what contributions I can make. Mm -hmm. So I have understood, understood many things. But still, sometimes I you know, see that my conduct is indefinite and there are many things that I wish to do, but because of, I don't know whether it, it is lack of time or it is the lack of effort, but certain things we are not able to do, even I'm talking about the level of expression. So I wish to do, I have the intention to do, but I am not able to do. Mm -hmm. So is this, so why is this the problem? Why, where is the problem? I am not able to understand, Didi. Yeah. That I want to do something, but, and, and I have the intention, but still I am not able to put in all those efforts which are required. Yeah. Yes. So competence is lacking. See, intention is your natural acceptance. So when you refer to your natural acceptance, of course you will, it is definite. So you do have the intention just as everybody has the intention so to be one with the existence, to be able to live in relationship with others. If you ask anybody, that is what they want. No, that is the intention. Because that can, is an sorry, like. sorry to interrupt you. Didi, can I give you an example for this particular huh. thing that I am talking? Huh. Yeah. Actually, there is an NGO. So earlier that road was fine, but now that road is under construction through which I can reach that NGO. 
so they have specially abled children so earlier i used to because it comes on my way so i used to go and you know, give whatever i had to the for the children but now for the last 6 uh, months i can say that uh, i am not uh, able to contribute as much as i want to so one of the things whenever i think about going there i think oh that road is and not you know worth driving i cannot drive on that road it's completely you know, torn off and they are recreating the you know, that road is being re, re, redone so and the, the person whom i am in touch with i am not able to talk to him also whenever he calls i am not available whenever i am calling he is not available person so, regarding uh, the one who can who is taking care of the ngo mm mm-hmm. so i am in touch with that person but uh, somehow we are not able to connect and uh, they do celebrate birthdays of uh, children with them and he always sends me a message that okay we are celebrating birthday of this this girl this this boy uh, i do buy some things also for the children but so they are all collected at one place in my house but i am not able to give so two or three children's so birthdays have also passed how what is the connection between the road and these children i don't get it actually the ngo the location of ngo uh it is not approachable these days aha uh-huh. okay so earlier i was able to go myself and give things whatever i want to but now whenever i think of going i am i cannot drive on that road so i don't go there now yeah but then the one who controls who, who see takes care of the ngo he must be going i know but i am not able to give things to him also he stays in my city only yeah 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 i got it so, yeah see right now we look at things you know how we can help we tend to think of physical facility yeah. but if physical facility if you give it say you give food you give something how long it will last once it is eaten it is gone finished isn't it yes And maybe that is why i am not feeling good also <laughs> because <laughs> earlier i used to go there now i am not able to go yeah if you give the gift of relationship you no know, the right feeling and you express that feeling the effect of that the impact of that will be for a little longer than the physical facility and see that right yeah. and if you give the gift of understanding that is the one of most use to everybody isn't it so ultimately when we are giving in terms of physical facility one is it lasts for a very short time it is temporary yeah yeah the other is for in terms of usefulness if we are clear that this is third priority then you know of course if somebody is you know in dire need of physical facility we will provide that but in our focus will also be this need for understanding in every individual so we'll work for that the other thing is right now we are looking at it in a very um you know small way that i can see my relationship with these people in the orphanage but if i see my relationship with everybody then whether it is this if i can't do this then i will do something else i will work with someone else because there's need for understanding is there in all isn't it so i'll try with my family members i will try outside the family i will try in my community i will discuss things with others of course it depends also on the competence of the other how much they are able to grasp but on the one hand i am working on my competence and on the other i am also helping build the competence of the other so what we were 
talking about at one end working for realization within and on the other the expression outside in terms of behavior work and participation so we'll work for both if not this something else does that help yes yes didi maybe i am thinking more about the physical facilities ji mm. i'm not saying physical it's not right to yeah. give physical facility certainly we can share physical facility but also keeping this higher goal in mind na no? yes sabhi to namaste i got that yesterday's query was clear didi by your response ji so today i got two queries didi related mm-hmm. to the first query didi so uh, for the past few days we are seeing in the tv uh, videos about rain flood lashing north india the properties being destroyed human lives being lost so can we conclude didi that's only because of lack of fulfillment of some part of the human goal this is happening so we shouldn't confuse with this situation with harmony in nature so that is my first question didi regarding my second question that is related to the third question assignment can you give an example didi i am not able to understand the third one that essence and expression two formulations of reaching the human look at your first <coughs> your first question see when we talk of harmony in nature we are talking of the essence mm, mm, mm. you know the self organization in every unit all of that mm. now when we talk of what is actually happening outside that you see with your gross eyes mm. you will see a lot of variety lot of things lot of turmoil lot of things are happening mm. but you can also see that at least some part of it we can see that we have also made many mistakes mm. with nature hmm? mm, mm. so we may have created problems like you no know, climate change you can see that mm. you can see the temperatures rising i mean if you if you look at that uh, there is a wonderful movie by al gore on climate change mm-hmm. where he talks about how much how little the change was in the past and over these last few hundred years how much um change we have brought about in the negative direction meaning you know the temperatures rising the changes that have been brought about in nature due to human intervention mm. which are very damaging for the nature now all of this because it is interconnected it is bound to have repercussions isn't it i'll give you a simple thing you know many a time even in in uh, you know uh, where we live in many of the cities what happens when it rains it pours there's lot of rain places get flooded oh oh it may be happening every year a simple thing may be the drains that have been put the drains are meant for this if those drains are clogged up with leaves or with plastic bags or things like that then they are not being able to soak the water in the drains mm mm underground it won't go there mm. it will just accumulate and come on to the road isn't it yes, simple no profit no. it's a simple thing <laughs> yet it happens mm. so we can see this this is a direct thing that you can see in front of you so look at the bigger picture you know when we are making big houses when we are making all these so called concrete jungles when we are removing the forests 
when we are cutting down trees how will the water get absorbed into the soil so now it is going to cause floods cause problems so you can see that to some extent at least we should be able to see that there is a direct connection between our work with nature and what is happening in the climate mm -hmm. yes sir yes sir besides you know um, there are many things we can do to overcome these situations at the last minute when it happens of course there is destruction there is loss of life but then we can make a change we can intervene we can work on it before the actual problem comes up so many things are possible if we yeah. have the right approach if we can see you know our participation that is one thing oh oh does is that help ji 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 so the yeah. essence is harmony but the expression is a uh, little bit destructive that's only because of us only um not only because but i will say that we can see our role in this na mm, mm, mm. if we had not made so many drastic changes perhaps this may not have been the outcome ji 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 yes ji ji you can see that the harmony is in the essence mm. that you know if you go down to every cell every unit in the existence it is playing its part in a very definite manner but our own indefiniteness may be creating many problems that is one thing mm -hmm. what was your other question i think this has answered the third question also didi the third one ji comparative study of the two formulations of human goal yeah so if you see these two goals these two formulations if we see these are just you know an expression of um being able to identify what to do as a human being no? mm. how to go about in your living so if you see at the root is what the reality understanding the reality mm. now the reality is only one there are no multiple realities there is only one reality mm. so i may look at it from one way you may look at it from another way but ultimately if we can see the reality then on the basis of that reality we can have lot of very variety lot of variation in expression oh we'll come to that when we come to the next lecture science of behavior oh oh so you'll see that there is there are so many ways of expressing what you understand isn't it oh oh so this is just one more formulation but the essence is the same oh oh understanding the reality means seeing the truth the people who see the truth they all see the same thing but mm. when they go to express they may use different words different formulations and so on oh yeah. gdd so seeing uh, the adverse effects of nature only for certain period i shouldn't come to the conclusion that there is no harmony in nature yeah because i am not able to if i am not able to see what is at the base oh. then it may seem like oh so much is happening outside it's like a plant you know that grows um it withers it dies and if i see it as something horrible happening well i have to understand that this is how things are on the surface no it is temporary mm -hmm. things are changing there is lot of variety there is lot of you know in the expression there is lot of variety the form can keep changing the shape may change the color may change those things will keep happening but underlying all of that what is it that is definite that is continuous that if i am not able to see then i have a very um 
I don't have the right perspective about things, na? Because yes, I'm not able to see the relationship. I'm not able to see the harmony. I'm not able to see the coexistence. So then I have doubts about um, the nature, is. about everything, about interactions. Yes. Because I have assumed something which is probably may not be true. Mm. Na? Mm-hmm. Yes, Didi. Thank you, Didi. So the bottom line, the bottom line is harmony only. Mm. Bottom line is we have to see the reality as it is. Mm-hmm. Till we do that, we may be having some wrong assumptions. Mm. Na? So ultimately, we have to go the whole way and see everything the way it is. Only then can we say for sure that we understand completely and we know. Oh, oh. Right? Yes, and on that basis, then we can live accordingly. But as long as we assume something otherwise, of course, in our living, it will reflect. No? If mm-hmm. I don't see my relationship with the other person, I will behave a certain way. I may have feeling of opposition. But if I see my relationship, if I see that Everything in nature, there is a relationship. No, with every other human being, I do have a relationship. If I see that, then of course, my desires, my thoughts, will be in line with that, and I will want to express that. So it will show in my behavior in a different manner. So you can see how you know it all depends on. Whether I am seeing things as they are, or I am assuming something to be true which may not be true, na? Oh, oh, very true, very true. Thank you, thank you so much, Didi. I got the doubt clear, Didi. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's it for my side, Didi. Thanks a lot. The next lecture in module five, lecture twenty-four. Again, we are working with that. We were, we've been talking about resolution. So we spoke of understanding. We spoke of um, the wisdom, means identifying the human goal, and now we are going to talk about the science, how to fulfill this human goal. In this science about how to fulfilling the human goal, how to go about fulfilling the human goal, there are three aspects we have to look at. Behavior means our interaction with other human beings. Work, which is our interaction, our work with nature, and the participation in the larger order. So when we look at understanding, which we were just talking about, that being able to see things the way they are, being able to see how everything is. On that basis, we have the wisdom to be able to see what my goal is. I can decide my goal. I can see that the goal is definite, based on seeing the existence the way it is, the definiteness, the universality in that, the continuity in that. On that basis, I can have the wisdom to have definiteness in the goal. And you can see that this is in the B one block. Now, when it comes to how to go about this goal that is what is being referred to as the science so this has to do with the b2 block so in the b2 block we talked of desires associated with feeling we talked of thoughts we thought talked of expectation now in the b2 block my desire i set according to seeing the definiteness in the goal once i decide this is my goal now i have an acceptance for it so with that feeling with that right feeling now i go about working out the details the plan the program how to go about it what would be the way for me forward how to Express this outside. What I have to actually do outside. All of that is 
science. So here you will see lot of variety. If you look at the understanding part, the reality is one. It is definite. It is the same for all. The goal on the basis of that also can be definite. But when it comes to the science, if you see the feeling, feeling also can be definite in line with the understanding. But when it comes to how to go about it, here you will see lot of variety. Because there are there could be many ways of doing the same thing. So you make a plan with the same goal, I make a plan with the same goal, we may have different um, ways of doing it. So this is what is science and this is what also reflects in the culture. When we talk of culture, this how we go about it, this variety in this. So you see variety in the cultures, in different cultures. And then when you are coming down to the expression outside, there also you will see a lot of variety. So, in the expression outside means, in my behavior with other human beings, in my work with the rest of nature, you will see a lot of variety. So, like how we were saying, you know, um, in terms of, if I have, if I can see the relationship between all the units. Now, within me, this, this seeing the relationship is at the level of B1 understanding. No, I can see the relationship between all the units. So I can see the relationship is already there. It's not that I have to make some relationship. On the basis of that, now my desire becomes, now this, we are going into the B2 block. My desire becomes to live with relationship. So now this is also definite. I have an acceptance for the relationship, I have a feeling of relationship. Till here, there is definiteness. Now when I go about thinking of how to live with relationship, no? now there will be a lot of variety. So if I am thinking of um, expressing my relationship to the other, I may think of calling the person, talking to the person, you may think of going, meeting the person. So there can be a lot of variety in this. So this is, um, you'll see a lot of differences in the, in the how to go about part. And then when we actually go down to doing it, the expression outside, of course there will be variety in that. Because right from the thought we are doing, we are thinking different ways of our role, of how to go about it. So this expression outside is what, what you see outside, that is being termed as civilization. Now we may have different um, ideas about these words, we may have different we may have read things, but you can see this is one format which um, this is why you see differences in <coughs> in the cultures, in various civilizations. But if you go down to the essence, you will be able to see the similarity at the base. But if you just look at the expression outside, then it seems like these are all different. That culture is different from my culture, this civilization was different from my civilization, and so on. But if we go down to the base, to the essence, then we can see the similarity in all. It's just differences in expression. Next slide. So, 
if we can see that existence is in the form of coexistence where the units are submerged in space and if we are able to see that in nature there is harmony within every unit <coughs> there is harmony so every unit is self organized and every single unit is participating with the other units in the larger order so you can see that this is how things are there is participation in the larger order and then the other thing that you can see in the definiteness when you are you know when we are talking of the b1 block or the understanding part that there is a relationship and this relationship is one of mutual fulfillment this is how the design of existence is so now when i look at human human relationships no or what we call the behavior behavior has to do with our interaction with another human being the human human relationship and the work has to do with our interaction with nature human nature relationship so now when we see this uh next slide and we have the clarity about the human goal then we also now start looking at how to ensure this fulfillment of the human goal that is we start detailing out the thought the expectation all of that within ourselves this detailing can include the plan the program how to imp actually implement it what kind of what kind of outcome we expect how do we evaluate it all of that will come under this and then if we see that it's not going in the right direction then reevaluating remodifying plan program whatever so those thoughts those expressions they can be many different ways so if you look at the science of behavior you can open up the slide fully we said there are three parts to it the science of behavior the science of work and the science of participation in the larger order so the science of behavior would be how i can ensure justice in human human relationships so that there is mutual happiness justice in the relationship means i am not just looking at my fulfillment i am looking for the fulfillment of the other also so i am doing justice in my relationships with all other human beings and i am able to see my relationship with all other human beings only then will i be able to do justice in the relationship isn't it so not just being able to see my relationship in my immediate family but also being able to see the relationship outside of that being able to see my relationship with say my neighbors my relatives my friends my community then you know the town the country then beyond the country till there is no boundary so i can think of or i can you know have this feeling of relationship for everybody in the whole world so having a world family so like neetu ji was just describing about the incident of not being able to express her you know go there and express a feeling of relationship for a particular group of people now you can see that your relationship is not just with that group your relationship is with all so as and when we can do it we will do that if we are not able to do that we will you know still have the feeling of relationship and be able to what whoever we can express it with we will express it with when it comes to the science of work now how to ensure this mutual relationship that we have with nature 
how to enrich the nature when we are thinking of prosperity for ourselves this becomes part of it so one part is that i am working for prosperity in myself as a human being the second part is i am also taking care of preserving the rest of nature so small things also it can begin with small things at least if i am able to see my connection my relationship with the nature if i am able to see my role in that then i will work for at least not exploiting nature at least not disturbing the harmony that is already there and if you look at the science of participation in the larger order then i am looking at how i can participate in a larger system in the societal system so that we can fulfill this human goal all the way from within this small family to the entire world family so in those societal systems we talked of the five dimensions <coughs> so in those five dimensions how am i participating seeing my role seeing what i can do rather than expecting something to change from the outside but working on the science of the participation meaning how i can go about working for a change in the societal system when i can see that the system is not fulfilling the human goal at this time so all of this is included in the science science of behavior which is with other human beings science of work with the rest of nature and the science of participation in the larger order where i am working for the various systems so next slide if you look at the science of behavior so we said we want to work for mutual happiness having justice in the relationship from the family to the world family world family means all the way up to a totally undivided society where you don't see this barrier see in different countries different people wear different type of clothes they may look little different their skin tone may be different they may eat different kind of food all this will be as part of the civilization you will see many changes many expressions lot of variety but to be able to see this that my interaction with every other human being my conduct can be definite my feeling for them can be definite then i can see myself as part of this undivided society and i can participate in that so when we spoke of harmony in the family we can go to the next slide workshop we spoke of harmony in the family and we spoke of this having justice in relationships so that there is mutual happiness and going from family to world family all the way up to an undivided society this we spoke of in the introductory workshop itself so now you can see the connect how it relates to the science having the understanding having the right feeling and then based on that right feeling in my interaction with others expressing that in a mutually fulfilling manner so this you are familiar with we said four things about relationship one is that the relationship is already there i don't have to create something and it is between one self and another self if i have this clarity that the human being is self and body then i also may have this clarity that the feelings are in the self so this relationship that i have 
बिकॉज ऑफ द फीलिंग और वेन आई कैन सी द रिलेशनशिप हु इज सींग द रिलेशनशिप इट्स नॉट द बॉडी दैट इज सींग द रिलेशनशिप इट इज द सेल्फ सो द रिलेशनशिप इज बिटवीन वन सेल्फ एंड एन अदर सेल्फ and there are feelings in this relationship again feelings are in the self not in the body feelings are in one self for the other self we can recognize all these feelings and we identified nine definite feelings and of course these are we are talking about feelings which are naturally acceptable so when i fulfill these feelings from my side and i express them to the other i evaluate now it can lead to mutual happiness the moment i ensure the feeling within myself i feel happy now when i express it to the other i am working for mutual happiness i am trying to express it to the other so that the other can also be happy so that it is mutually fulfilling now in that process i might find that the other's competence is lacking now if the other's competence is lacking then what do i do so i help the other build the competence but all the time i will ensure my feeling if the other is not behaving right i'll be able to see that the relationship is there he just doesn't understand it because of lack of competence so i can still ensure my feeling from my side and what that will do is first and foremost thing that will happen when i ensure the feeling from my side is i will feel happy and with that happiness now i work for helping the other build the competence helping the other to be able to have that happiness within which i can experience at that moment so we talked of the nine feelings i won't go through them again right from trust which is the foundation value from where it all starts where i can start seeing or have acceptance for the relationship so at least being able to see that everybody has the right intention nobody's intention is bad everybody has the same natural acceptance that i have it starts from there whatever is lacking is only a difference in competence in the behavior but in essence the intention is pure intention is same for all that is trust the foundation value and going all the way up to love where i can see my relatedness with all that is the complete value so justice would mean recognizing this and fulfilling it from my side and then expressing it to the other evaluating it in a way that i am making effort for mutual happiness and this can happen from my immediate small family all the way up to the world family till we have an undivided society if there is any question we can take it um nirupam ji um i think your hand was raised from before i'm just going to lower the hand if there is any question regarding what i have just been talking about we can take that otherwise we'll move forward i think this content is quite familiar with everybody we have talked of this in quite detail in the introductory workshop okay we'll go forward then so when we talk of love love is this acceptance that i have for being related to all where i can see my relationship with all not just human beings with all units so whether it be animals birds trees plants soil everything all the units in nature including of course human beings so being able to 
identify that we are in coexistence with the other human being and it, it may be that it, to begin with we can only see our relationship with few that would be called affection you can open up this slide so to begin with we may think that this is you know i am related to such and such person and i don't see my relationship with too many people so this you can refer to as affection then i slowly expand this feeling of relationship feeling of coexistence with all human beings and then not just to all human beings but with every unit in nature so that is what is being referred to as love this feeling of love we express in the form of kindness beneficence and compassion this feeling is for all and we express it for those that we come in contact with this feeling of love divided society next slide so love is the feeling of being related to all which is the complete value and you can see that so many of these feelings that we talked about the nine feelings starting from trust trust is the basic um acceptance of the relationship without that we cannot proceed forward in the relationship if you see all these feelings in some form you can look at it as ultimately an expression of the feeling of love i may see it for few but ultimately it is an acceptance of the relationship so ultimately to be able to see my relationship with each and every unit that we said is the feeling of love 